Let's take a look at the simulation. Though the disturbance has different intensity in different areas, the details look uniform. Great. Next, I'm going to add some smaller details with gas vortex confinement. To make you guys have a solid understanding on it, I'll use this simple project to explain how it works. You can check visualize confinement if needed. Use the control field to affect the part of high speed only. Dive into it. These nodes are for creating some temporary fields. These nodes are to calculate the direction of the velocity and then add the result to the original valve. This way the direction of the smoke will change, thus generating some details. Let's go over these nodes. Calculate the curl of the valve here, then the magnitude of the curl, then the gradient of the curl, and normalize it. This node is to cross the gradient of the curl with the curl to obtain a new direction that is vertical to them. Essentially, this node is the confinement scale here. These nodes correspond to the control field here. It might not be very intuitive if I put it in this way, so I built this thing in sub for your better understanding. The arrows represent the direction of the valve. These nodes run the same calculations in DAP. Let's roughly go through them. Get into VOP. First, sample the veil field, and the curl, and the gradient. Then cross these two. These nodes are to simulate the process where the speed is used as the control field. Lastly, add the calculated direction to the original valve direction. Here, I add a switch node and connect all the directions that we gained so that we can know how they affect the normal separately. The red area is where the gas vortex confinement works. All right, let's get out. This parameter corresponds to the confinement scale. Let's make a switch to the original valve. There are a few variations. Then the curl. We can see many vertices up here. That's why there are many vertices on the surface in the end. The next one is the gradient of the curl. After a few calculations, we get the final force. Let's zoom in a bit for a better observation. You may also create a scene like this to understand a gas vortex confinement node better. Alright, let's come back to our project. 